video is for everybody, but it's especially for my vegan viewers and subscribers. So I just feel like I have been avoiding this recipe because it's kind of daunting in itself. Today I'm gonna to show you how to make vegan macaroni and cheese. And I don't know about for you, but for me, macaroni and cheese is just one of those recipes that's like, you either have it or you don't. You know what I mean? So I was a little scared, but let me tell you, I tried two variations of this recipe and they are both good. But y'all, I am really here for version two. Like when I tell you, your girl had to go in and add a little shum shum to give it a little, a little spice, a little kick, something to make it certified a popping. Um, y'all, I, I am impressed. I am impressed if I do say so myself. So if you want to follow along and see my journey into making vegan macaroni and cheese, just keep watching. But before you go, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe, and I'll see y'all next time. Alright, the first thing you're going to do is take your elbow pasta and add it to boiling water and cook as normal like you would do with any other pasta. And then in a separate saucepan, I'm just going to add a little vegetable oil and about a half of a chopped onion and let that saute. Once my onions are translucent, I'm going to add in my two cups of yellow potatoes and my two cups of carrots and then finally my two cups of water. So I'm just going to let that all cook together and I know that it's ready when my carrots and my potatoes are soft like you see here. So now I'm going to take the vegetables and the kind of brine that it's made or broth and add it all into a blender. And then what you're going to do is just blend this until you have a smooth, even consistency with no lumps or chunks. So just showing you guys very nice, smooth vegetable puree. And so I'm going to add that to a large sauce pot or saucepan. And now we're going to begin to season. So I'm going to add in some nutritional yeast flakes to help give a cheesy flavor, followed by some McKay's chicken seasoning. And then we've got a little black pepper, followed by some garlic powder, a little Italian seasoning, and then I'm just gonna give that a mix. And you guys, you really just season to taste whatever seasonings you like. So I've got some Creole seasoning going in there, and also a little bit of some Himalayan pink salt. And so I'm gonna be adding in our vegan cheeses. So first we've got the smoked Gouda, and then you just kinda wanna whisk or mix, mix that in until there's minimal chunks and then I'm going in with some American vegan cheese and then again mixing just until you have minimal lumps going in with our third cheese we have some vegan provolone and finally we have some vegan mozzarella so you just mix all of this until it's even and to your liking so I have a greased pan where I'm adding some of my macaroni noodles once you've got a sufficient amount, you just take your cheese sauce and pour it right over. And then just go ahead and mix that until it's all well combined. And y'all, look at that cheesy goodness. Doesn't it look good? Well, it tastes good, okay? And so that's going to go in your oven for about an hour at 350 degrees. And it is done. So here's the second version, the one that I was really, really rooting for. So you're going to put your noodles in the pan and add your cheese sauce just as we did before. But... Here comes the secret ingredient. Well, it's not a secret because I'm telling you. But it's some diced green chilies. And when I tell y'all, this elevates it to a whole nother level, okay? And then you'll just bake for the same amount of time. And then there you go. You got another pan of cheesy goodness. So be sure to let me know what you think in the comment section below.